Yo, 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 guys. So, I'm going to be doing a series. I'm going to be, uh, I guess it's called a series. I'll call it Late Night. What is it? Late Night, um, Late Night ARAM. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing ARAM. You know, having a great time because I like playing ARAM. Uh, I don't think ARAM has as much attention as it should get for it being such a good part of League. It's a very, very good part of League. So, I really, really enjoy playing ARAM. I think we should have, and I think it should get more attention. But, I'm going to be releasing these videos for ARAM just to, you know, I'm going to release them just to, just having fun, having a good time. Um, this is going to be for, well, I mean, you already going to know it's going to be for YouTube. So, it's, I'm going to be uploading these on YouTube because I don't really play ARAM on. I don't really play ARAM on what you call it. Oh my god, I really, really, really want. I really, really want her. So, I'm gonna be playing it for the YouTube. This is gonna be like a YouTube exclusive, I guess. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I love. I really like her a lot. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing some Dark Harvest. We're gonna be putting Dark Harvest on her. Oh my gosh, Dark Harvest is my favorite rune for this series. For this season. It's gonna be. Oh man, Dark Harvest is such a great rune. So, I guess I'm gonna use my Ultima hat. I'm gonna have Ultima hat on. So if I go to Nocturne, bam, Dark Harvest. So I have the the, the cheap shot. So cheap shot impaired for impaired. Once they're impaired, um, I already need the movement speed. So Ultima hat lets me do it. Ult let's me um get my Ultima hat. It lets me get my damage. I mean, let me get my ultimate multiple times, which my ultimate is pretty much replacement and damage. And then Gathering Storm lets you gain over the over the course of the game. So then I'm gonna take heal. It's such a fun, fun. I think it is a great, great rune. I think Dark Harvest is a great rune, and it's my favorite. The day that they, I think the day that they remove Dark Harvest is probably the day that I that I quit League because it's such a great room. Unless they implement something that's just like Dark Harvest. I've never had so much fun with this game playing. You can play it in a serious format. You can play it in a you can play it in you know you play it in competitive. You can play it in non competitive. You can play it in um in the the the, the games that are swapped out ever so often. It's such a fun like the burst is real. It's a late game rune, but if you can get if you can get ahead, you can just have some serious damage early. Some serious damage early. So let's 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 try it a little bit. Let's let's uh, I'd love to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do on hit. We're gonna do an on hit build for for art for Oriana. So I am not that I am not that good with Oriana, but I like to make some of these I like to 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 play certain champions only on a round. So uh, so that's on our passive or hits on our passive It's for a ball. I think we're gonna do like the we're gonna save the shield for I think we're gonna save the shield for a second So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some on hit we're gonna do on hit Oriana or we can do like a burst Uh, We could do like a burst oriented Oriana, I guess Let me change my So let me go ahead and get the I had to change my keys. I have my eye keys on. There we go. Bam. So we could do like a very, very bursty Oriana hit. A bur bursty or Oriana kit. If we could have like some... Because this that's AP, right? Bonus damage. Is it magic damage though? I think that's magic damage. I think it's magic damage. I think it's bonus magic damage. So, so okay, cool, Ben. So what we're going to do is going to go... We're going to grab a long sword. We're going to grab a long sword. There we go. I'm gonna grab BF sword. I'm gonna grab BF sword. Yeah, we can wait for another pot. We can wait for another pot. Bam. So I grab BF sword. We're gonna mostly on the first at the beginning of the game. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. I'm most I'm probably a lot of the games are gonna be using Dark Harvest. I like Dark Harvest a lot. Not too often that I don't use. I usually try to do more of the Dark Harvest builds and Dark Harvest things. I like to do the one shots, man. I like to see some of the one shots with it. So what we're gonna do is. Since she has some AP scaling, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go with with a good. Uh, we're gonna go with Rage Blade because Rage Blade gives us a little bit of attack speed.
There we go. We're going to throw a ball right there. Bam. Get some damage. Take that Dark Harvest proc and use it. Oh, there's Dark Harvest proc about to about to fall over. We're going to grab that Dark Harvest proc. So basically with Dark Harvest in the beginning, you, you can just poke with it. Look at that damage. Look at that damage that it does. And then if you can get some good hits on there. Nice. Look at that Dark Harvest proc. Look at that. And then we get one. So you get Dark Harvest. So what Dark Harvest does is basically whenever you would die. Or not when you would die. But whenever a, um, whenever an ally dies or an opponent dies, you get a, a you get a soul. Or you get a, a couple or you know a certain amount of souls. Those souls will those souls will amplify your next auto attack for a certain amount of time until you get to 150. Once you get to 150, then your um then it'll it'll last on you for five minutes. You also can get them from your You also can get them from your From um cannon minions. Cannon minions and large minions. You don't get them when you die though. You don't get them when you die. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the we're gonna we're gonna grab the, the shiv. So with the shiv we're gonna get a little bit more of a burst. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be bursting people down. Alright, so and the best the reason why I really love it in ARAM is because in ARAM a lot of you're gonna go through minions from both sides. So it's not just your minions, your cannon minions, it's cannon minions from either side. You'll see like a red little, you see like a red little in 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 implementation or whatever you want to call it. You'll you'll find that on on it. See like right there. See how there's a little red. That, that's how you know you're in range. Like in the middle of there, I was in range. There we go. Bam. See, we get dark harvest and it applies again, so you can apply it again. See. See how we can apply it again? So we got another one, right? We got another one. Oh my god! I didn't even notice I was walking into it. I didn't even notice, man. So that's what it's... So it applies... If you kill someone, it, it stacks it up again. Like, you get you get another chance. It's like, um... Imagine if you got, um... Thunderlords. But if you killed somebody, it would automatically proc on your next auto attack. So if you're on a like if you're like on a roll like you kill one person and then you got another per you kill one person you next attack will do bonus damage it can help you kill another one let's say if you one shot that one person and then you one shot the other like you one shot that one person okay cool beans um you get another one and then because you killed somebody it, that you know you get another stack you get another stack because somebody died and then so the next one will automatically be more damage will be higher. And then maybe, maybe if you're if you're doing more of a, a auto attack based, you dish out a big chunk right then and there, and they could help you finish them off. And think about dark harvest; not a lot of people see see that damage coming. So what you can do is you can work it into trading. Like let's say if I'm going to trade, let's say if I'm going to trade, I could auto attack, and then uh, I could auto attack get my dark harvest proc. Auto attack, or if I have a dark pro pro dark harvest proc on it, I can auto attack. I mean, I can I can use my dark harvest, pick up another dark harvest, and then use it again. So you get two. It's like getting two Thunderlords procs right then and there. I'm gonna flash over. I'm gonna get out of there. Cool beans. So one person died, so I'll be able to. They, they didn't notice. Peek. They didn't notice. Peek. They didn't notice. Woo. Oh, no. No. He barely got away. He barely got away. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. If I had my attack speed up. If I had my attack speed up, man. So that's how that works. You saw how, like, I was able to... Bam! No matter how much health they had, if I was doing more damage, so it, it let me snowball. Oh, I didn't get an assist for that. I guess so. It's okay. It was bad, man. Maybe I'm on my way. 
And then you have a certain range for your Dark Harvest. I wish they would show you like the range, but you have a certain range for your Dark Harvest. The only way you know you're in range really is if um, you see that. So you see how that one, that one dies, I get, I get a proc. And then that one dies, I get a proc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna boost that one up. I don't have much AP for my shield to give me more. So now I have Dark Harvest. You can use, you can use your Dark Harvest proc to poke. Which isn't too bad. Now late, it's really a late game rune. Like it, like no matter what late game, it'll you, you should do good. It's more if you're using it in the in you know on on Summoner's Rift, it's way better in the jungle than in lane. But I find that if you use it in lane, I really love using it on Jin because you know how your fourth shot deals a mag a massive amount of damage. That can make your fourth shot deal a lot more. It could do a lot more, and it could be more. It could be very effective. I try it. It's so fun. It's very fun. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna clear the wave real quick. There we go. Oh, and if you get the last kill, then it just automatically goes on to you. you get that kill automatically goes on to you. If someone died, you have to go pick it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it on him. It goes up. If I keep it on him, then I, I can. There we go. See? Uh, he's down. So I'm gonna wait for him. I really wanted it. I wanna grab this. I, I'm, I'm really gonna grab it. Yeah. I risked it for the. I risked, I risked it. I risked it for the bacon, man. Oh no. Oh no, I hesitated. Don't ever hesitate. I hesitated. So if you're going for a one shot build, man, like Static Shiv, this, this you know the one shot, Static Shiv and Infinity Edge is a good, is a good place to start on it. I'm gonna go with a uh, with a little bit of a. Uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit of. No, 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 no. I want maybe a little bit of AP. Because after this, I'm going to go with my Rage Blade. So I'm going to build that right there. And then I'm going to I'm gonna take a little bit of that attack speed. I wouldn't get a pot, but you know, you usually die. Sometimes you just die so much on ARAM that you don't really need your pot. So we're playing for the late game. But we can also be really aggressive. We can also be very, very effective as an ADC. So we're more like, right now with Oriana, we're playing more like an ADC. There we go. Molly Bear's really good this season. I think they did a really good job when they when they buffed him. They gave him just enough buffs for him to be very useful. That's what's important for, for Molly Bear to be useful. Uh, I think I whiffed it, but I got some Dark Harvest procs. There we go. I got some Dark Harvest procs, so it, it, that helped a little bit. Is there a heal? There's gonna be a heal right here, so we're gonna go back. Um, ooh. If we could get, if we could get back in time, because I know he's really gonna go for him. There we go. Saved him. Oh dang, rip. Oh my god, no! My, it wasn't up in time. It wasn't up in time. I wanted, I really wanted to use my um. I really wanted to use my. Oh dang, Rip. He barely got away. I really wanted to use my shield, but shield wasn't up in time. That, that sucks. Rip. Ripperino. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it does. Oh no. Eat him. Yes. Sweet. So I grab this Star Covers Proc. I 
Just try to wait it out a little bit. I know they're in there. I know he's in the bush. Oh, snap, son. Oh, God. That was a bad position for me. That was a very bad position. I wanted to catch back up with, um... I wanted to, I really wanted to catch back up with... With Yi, so I could put my ball on him, but he just... Just... He, 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 he took off. He was not... He was in his own world. I mean, he was going ham. He was doing his thing. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Hopefully. We'll figure it out. Volley Bear is a really good frontliner for them. Oh my god. I thought he was going to be over there. And then when he came to, I was like, oh my gosh, he could just cue me and take me down. If you could possibly get in the game, maybe, maybe he's going to get in there. I don't think so. I don't think he's going to go for it. I should have played back a little bit more. I should have played back just a little bit more. I've only played Oriana on ARAM, so I, I, my Oriana is not the best. Oriana is not the best. Whoa, why would you do that? Oh no, I gotta get out of there. Oh no. Oh no. Not even close, buddy. That wasn't gonna happen. So I gotta defend the I gotta defend the base. I'm like Neo man, I'm just dodging all this dude. Just dodge it all. So like with those, the bigger minions, I actually get I get some dark harvest stacks. There we go. So now I have a I have a dark harvest stack up, and I also have my witch call. So what I'm gonna do is, bam! Look at that damage. That damage, it's so ridiculous. I actually need a lot more damage to throw in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to get another BF sword. I want to get another BF sword. So and then I'm going to finish my um my rage blade. No, you should never, if you're an ADC, you should never position yourself in between, you know, the, the, the squad, the whole squad team. Dang, I tried. I tried. Nope. Ugh. Not even. Oh, Ripperino. Nice. Take down Talon. Take him down. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, he should have just. Yeah, I don't think that was gonna work. But it was. He. That was a good try, though. That was a good try. He gave it all he's got. He didn't hold back on that one. One of my favorite characters to have on on here is Jen. Jen is like my favorite character to play on eight round. That four the four shot that four hit shot dude is so good. Nice. So I was able to finish that fight out really quickly. Doesn't have a war box? Okay, no, he doesn't have Warmox. I thought he had a Warmox. Or something to generate some health. 
Oh no, why would you go over there? Oh my gosh. Billy was able to save you. That's a no-no zone. You don't go over there. Uh-uh. You got everybody else in trouble. What are you doing? I need that. Oh man, I wasn't able to take him down. I really thought I had him. I really thought I had him. I really was. I was in. I was in there, man. I was in there. I was all for it. I was definitely all for it. It was definitely fun. We were doing some good. We were doing some good moves. We were doing some. Doing some awesome gameplays. It was really cool. It was. It was an awesome good play. But we just couldn't do it. We just couldn't do it. It's okay. Sometimes you can get an extra round. The way a lot of people, the way a lot of people usually play these, sometimes play the end of it. Nah, you got the minions. You got the minions. I was like, nah, you got the minions right here. And then sometimes the minions just kind of do. Sometimes they just kind of do their own thing. So that's uh who did really good. I think he was doing his best. He was doing his best. He was getting in there. He was doing the best he possibly could. So let's Bam, let's go right here. Let's let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hopefully we get a better hopefully we get we get a better character. They just had a that oh my gosh, that volley bear was going ham. That volley bear was doing some amazing stuff, dude. It was amazing. That volley bear was just going to hell. Sometimes, sometimes when you have a good frontliner, the game could go really smooth. Sometimes you have a really, really good character, the game could go just like even better. Sometimes the game will just goes really, really good. Now, what I like about oh my god, have y'all guys tried Dark Harvest on Misfortune, dude? The damage that the Dark Harvest does with this fortune, because your the, the second part of your Q can actually give you some good stuff with Misfortune, dude. And then you have Ultimate Hat, which are, that'll give you that'll give it to you if you just go full crit, dude. Misfortune, because her her ultimate can crit, it gives you a ton. I wish I had a skin for Misfortune. Wish I had a skin for Misfortune. And then I wish. Oh man, that's a good Misfortune skin. It's a really good misfortune skin. Arcade is a really good misfortune kit. Misfortune skin. I think arcade is my favorite. I think arcade is my favorite. The love one's good. The, the that's a good misfortune skin. That one is. They have a lot of good misfortune skins, by the way. It's just misfortune is kind of like the the ribbon of ADCs. Like they're good. She just gets so much skins, so much good skins. Like if a misfortune gets a skin, it's usually a good skin nowadays. Like when Yi gets a skin, it's usually a good skin. Like I, you haven't seen a really awesome skin for like Mordekaiser or things like that. Maybe, maybe his um. I mean, he. I would like for him to get a really cool skin. They're gonna release some really dope skins, in a few. Like um, Twisted Fate. A new Twisted Fate skin. That one looks really cool. Another Riven skin. Jeez. You know, Yasuo gets really good skins. Like Blood Moon's good, and the 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 evil one with the with the with the awesome looking sword. Dear God, that's a good skin. That's a really awesome skin. I like it. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go Q. We're gonna go standard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna really just. I think as. Just getting a BF sword with her just up front is, is always great. 
Ying and BF Sword. What are we gonna do? Since they're all like, oh my god, they have they have two assassins. Cause he's gonna he's gonna play more like an assassin. Cause he's gonna die repeatedly. Like, and then Mordekaiser's don't Mordekaiser's gonna be rough. I think I'm the only one running Dark Harvest. Yeah, Dark Harvest is so good. Dark Harvest is like so good on um on Misfortune. And it's also really good on It's also really good on the on this map. Cause cause you're all like people die all the time, so you get your Dark Harvest proc over and over again. Not just over and over again just, just because of the team fight. And then with your passive, because you attack a new target, let's say you attack a new target. Look at this, look at this damage, that bonus damage. And then her Q applies on hit damage effects. On hit effects, man. Look at that. Now watch this. Oh, jeez, I wanted to hit that second one. But the second one, if you hit the second one, and then you apply your dark, you, you apply your dark harvest on that. On that second attack, dude, it's so good. I just want to make sure I could. No, yeah, you're done, sauce though. Where are you gonna go? You got Namumu. Where are you running to? You got Namumu. You're not gonna give past anything. You're gonna give up the kill. It's all about who you're gonna give the kill to at that point. At that point, it's all about who you're gonna give the kill to. Okay, so now I would have liked to have enough for that one, but I kind of don't. So I'm going to stack. Uh, um, I don't know. 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 Uh, should I wait? No, I'm gonna give up a pot. I'm gonna give up a pot. Yeah, I can give up a pot. There we go. I can give up a pot. So now we're gonna go back at it. So my focus points is I'm going to be focusing down Kha'Zix, I'm going to be focusing down Cassiopeia to get some free, uh, some free easy ones. I'm also going to be focusing down Yi, but I know Yi's going to die mostly. Water Kaiser is just easy to easy to attack. Now I'm always going to try to be the one to 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 hit the. Uh, I'm always going to try to be near. There we go. There we go. Pink! Look at that damage! And it applies the it, it applies the dark harvest. It applies dark harvest, so that damage is really, really rough. Like I love I, let's, I love playing Misfortune out here. And if they just if they line up with it, it could get really bad for them. See how he dives? And that's what that's what we want right there, that dive. That's what we're gonna be looking forward to. So every time he dies, we're just gonna every time we he die we dive, we're just gonna wait. Oh man, I totally wanted that. So there we go. So we applied our Dark Harvest, so that's dead. But our Dark Harvest, that's dead. No! Cool beans. We did our best. We did our best. That's all that they could ask for, our best, right? Yeah. What? What? Oh man, he hit me right on there. I, that was so totally my kill, man. That was so totally my kill. 
That was so my kill. Cool. I was on that one, man. Let's get some boots, because I think positioning is really, really important with Misfortune. We're going to get two pots. instead of We're going to get two pots. Instead of just run away with the one. Oh, can we, bam! That was, oh, 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 well, yeah, okay. No wonder he didn't move. All right. I like Miss Mor Miss Fortune's passive. I really thought that was gonna be in range. He dived way too hard. But I think we can, we can follow up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Those, those Dark Harvest stacks really, really, really came in handy right there. Because it chucked Morty down by a lot. Morty doesn't really have too much health. Morty doesn't have too much health. Oh, no. Oh no, he doesn't want to. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up some. I'm gonna go pick up some health. Pick up one here, and then I'm gonna pick up one here. Um, I hope they're not fighting. Uh, go. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Go. I'm here. I'm here. Go. There it is. Jesus, I really wanted that. That would've been such good damage. So I need 50 more points for my Dark Harvest. Oh my god. Help! 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 I stopped my channel because they jumped right into me. Like, I flinched. I knew they were going to jump, and I wanted to position. And as soon as I tried to reposition, they jumped. And I was like, dang, I'm done, Zlaus. I was like, dude, I'm done. I'm, that's it. GG, no re, dude. GG. And it was not playing. It, it did not go how I planned. Well, I guess it. I guess it's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. I don't really need any pots because their assassins pretty much have what they need. Like he has pure unadulterated damage, and just he just needs to get to me. And this Q already does a dope amount of damage, a really good amount of damage on his base for his Q. And then plus the crits, and I already have. I, I just have low health. I mean, to stop that, I could probably build like a black cleaver just to just to alleviate it just a little bit. There we go. I don't have a dark harvest proc. Flex is going up straight up on my crit. He's gonna dive. He's gonna dive if he if he gets a good shot. Nice. Oh god. Oh calculated. Calculated, dog. Do it. Do it. Do it. If he does it, he's done sauce. If he does it, he's done sauce. Ooh! Kill him! Oh man, that was a really good catch. That was a really good catch. That was a really good catch. There you go. I just want to spread out a little bit. I do have a static shift so I can heal just a little bit. I can just touch her. Uh, do I have a Dark Harvest proc? I do have a Dark Harvest proc now. Alright, so if I can get in range, I can just kill one. I got another Dark Harvest proc. If he dives, he's dead. Oh, that hurt just a little bit. I'm out. I'm out of 500. I don't need this. I don't need this. I got one job.
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this. It was risky, but I really really wanted it. I have ultimate hat, so. Ooh! Oh, that was a good catch. Nice. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I like. Oh no! This is that's not what I like. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like when they when they move toward me like that. So right now we're just trying to catch somebody catch somebody off. Okay, cool. I'm gonna pop that. Like the longer it goes off, the more deadly I get because of the the the. He's gonna creep around. He's really trying to creep around. I would have never ulted a Moomoo. I mean, yeah, Fat Tank is nice, but I don't think ulting a Moomoo would be a good call. Oh man, I did what I could. I did what I could. I did had some had some pretty big quits. The crits, quits. I had some pretty big quits. That's a pretty big quit. Quit. It's a pretty big crit. Crits. See, now that I goofed it up, got some pretty, pretty big crits. I really, really, really. I think. I think I would be better going to. Going into Ghost Ghost Blade and then probably getting another BF sword or something like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the the Caulfield's hammer, or Caulfield's hammer. Just because I really want the CDR for my ultimate, and I'm gonna get the boots for CDR for my ultimate. Because I think Mrs. Fortune's ultimate, regardless of what game mode you're playing, is very, very good. Jim, yeah, that's exactly what we want. We want to hit him. Beak. Yeah, that was. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. So I'm going for Yi. There we go. So we're we're really pushing this tower. We're pushing it. All right. Grab that right there. So the fact that it increases and in Dark Harvest increases into late game really makes it worth your while. That's such a good skin. Damage. That damage, man. Just the crit on its own is just high. I'm take that. I don't want to overstep. I mean, if I can just. Oh no! Oh damn minions! Oh minion block, guys. That's rough, dude. I hate that so much. I think we all hate that when minions block you. I remember when they had a BF sword in here, man. That was really good when they had a BF sword in it. Uh, boo -boo -boo -boo. Should I go with the... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm going go with this for the BF sword. If I can get... If I can wait on another... um, I think I'm going to wait on another 600. Because I think I just... Uh, not another 600, but another, like, couple. Yeah, so I got the best of both worlds. So all of my stuff will be cooled down. And then, um, it's really for my ultimate. But, like, the extra cooldown on my Q isn't too bad anyway. Isn't too bad. Oh, we need to kill that guy. Look at that damage. Calculated, man. And I clear waves like it's nobody's business. He's gonna. Oh, okay. I was like, is he gonna come back? That wouldn't have been too bad if he came back. Look, I'm 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 good for 600. I have a dark harvest on the way.
Have a dark harvest right there. We could probably push through. Just kill the minions. I really want to see the dark harvest hit him. Oh no! <laughs> I got Dark Harvest. Oh no! I got Dark Harvest. I can kill him. Kill him, you kill the clone. Yeah, if you kill him, you kill the clone. Yeah, guys. So that is the first, and that is the first installment of, you know, Late Night ARAM. Thanks so much for jamming out with me. You guys are amazing. I had such a fun time. Uh, you did really, really good. You like your engages were pretty solid. Um, your your, your engages were pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, but and and her 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 butcher calls were doing pretty good too. And now, I am rank seventy five, which is so good. Before we before we close it all, before we close it all, let's um let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. So we got the capsule. The capsules don't really give you too much good stuff. I don't believe. Oh no! It crashed. It crashed. Here, uh, here, there, there you go. I'll, I'll send it, and then uh, there you go. All right. So thanks so much for jamming out. You guys are all awesome and amazing. Please be safe and careful. Have a lovely, lovely night.